Hi there, I'm Fiona Watt, race director for the Ochterarda Running Festival. We're up here at um, Glen Eagles Arena today with three weeks to go till race day and we've been joined by Wendy Wilson. And, Morning Fiona. Uh, yeah, and we've got a few questions. Just with three weeks to go, we want to find out how he's feeling to event day and how's the, the training preparation gone. So, um, Wendy, what um, first of all inspired you to start running? Yeah, morning, Fiona. Um, actually, it was my uh, my wife, Gusty. She ran uh, the London Marathon earlier this year. Um, she started her training with Five Star Active the year before, and um, she started the, the 5K block, and she was out doing her our training runs, the odd um, 1K, 2K, 3K here and then. And um, jokingly, you know, I said to her um, one day when she came in that she'd need to up the miles getting ready for, for the London Marathon. And uh, I jokingly said to her I would uh, go out the next day and run a 10K. But um, foolishly, I managed uh, about half a mile. And um, ever since then, I kind of, it got me, got me kind of intrigued. So I started running last year, um, just doing the odd 5K here and there. Um, just running alongside my, my, my wife, supporting her for the, the London Marathon. But um, yeah, it, it was definitely her um, completing the London Marathon in, in April this year that it, it, it got me involved in the running. And she did great as well. Yeah. So um, how's your life changed since you've started running then? Um, it's probably a bit too early to say long term, but, but certainly short term. Um, I've been running now properly for about five, six, seven weeks. Um, lost a couple of pounds, which is always always good. Um, I'm feeling a, a little bit better, um, healthier in myself. Um, out running three times a week, Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday, getting a bit of fresh air. As I said, I'm feeling a, a, a lot better within myself, um, and helping me sleep at night and that as well. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Good. Have you done any races before? And if so, how have they gone? I haven't. No. Um, I've got the Perth 10k next Sunday as a, a wee warm up. But um, being born and bred Ochter Ardor, um, I thought I'd save myself for the, the Ochter Ardor Running Festival, which is in, in three weeks' time. I've entered the, the half marathon, so I thought that would be, be quite fitting, um, quite testing. Um, obviously, as I said, um, belonging in Ochter Ardor, my, my hometown uh, running festival, so I'm fairly looking forward to that. Great. And how's training going so far then? Um, training's been going... Um, okay-ish. Um, as I said, um, I've been out running myself uh, last year or so, just doing the odd um, 5k, 10k here and there. Fiona's been um, pestering me for a few months to, to come out and join um, Five Star Active. Um, you know, at first I said, no, it's okay, yeah, it's not really my thing. But um, when I was away in honeymoon, um, I'd got a few runs in, I'd been speaking to uh, Fiona and um, I said, right, okay, I'll, um, I'll come out and join uh, the Saturday morning running club if you, if you stop sending me PMs and, and pester me. But no, um, yesterday was my, my fourth week and um, what a difference, you know, when you're involved in, in group running, just um, the, the camaraderie and, you know, meeting up before the, the race, having a laugh and a joke, um, and then the serious stuff starts when you're, when you're out running. You're running in a group, yeah, you kind of get picked up and, and swept along. So, yeah, training's been good. Um, obviously, um, Coach Fiona here's worked out a wee programme for, for for everybody. So we do our do our long runs at the weekend, and then we've got a couple of shortish runs through the week. Um, normally tempos or, or or some hilly stuff. But yeah, so far so good, and I'm you know I'm really looking forward to the the race in uh, in three weeks time. Great. And um, do you have a goal then in mind for your Ochterada Running Festival? Um, yeah. Well, first of all, obviously, just to to get round complete the course um, injury free just to come up early soak up the atmosphere um, it's my my first big race so I don't really know what to expect but I just want to, to go out um, run the race um, you know have a have a good time um, just see everybody out cheering us on just just to be involved in the, the whole thing and just, just to get me just to get me prepped up for, for London but no I'm really looking forward to it. just to complete the course injury free and then um, maybe got a wee time in mind, but we'll, we'll keep that to ourselves. Great, okay. Now, so I know you still say it's early days, but have you um, got any tips for anyone out there, you know, for, for doing the half marathon? Anything that you've picked up that you want to share with anyone? Um, yeah, like I say, it's still, um, I'm still a newbie when it comes to running, but I suppose tips for me are, are, are what we speak about in, um, in, in the group. Um, just try different things when you're out in your training runs. 
um, your shoes, your socks, you know, your shorts, your vests, um, even your underwear. Um, you know, you need just. Um, but yeah, work on your work on your fluids, work on your gels, try different things, um, meal preps before and after runs, just just to see how different things affect you. So you know, when you go out on race day, you know you're not trying anything new. Stuff that you're doing, you've done, and you've tried out, and then hopefully you'll you'll get round trouble free. Great. So three weeks today, you'll be running just now. Um, the Ultra Ardour Half Marathon. How are you feeling? Um, wee bit nervous, I suppose, um, but excited. Really looking forward to it. Um, just like getting out, running with the club, meeting um, meeting new runners, new friends as well. Um, so yeah, but I'm a wee bit nervous because obviously you're wanting to do well, you're wanting to get round, you're wanting to put a put a good show on. But uh, yeah, aye, nervous but excited. Great. And important question. How are you going to celebrate once you've completed that Ultra Ardour um, Half Marathon? Well, race day's on a Sunday, so there'll be no beer, but um, probably treat myself to my, my favourite Indian, and I'll uh, save myself for the the week after the Five Star Disco on the Saturday night. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be up there with a, a medal around our necks, having a few beers, so uh, yeah. And just last question, what's your plans after the Ultra Ardour Running Festival then, in terms of running, running wise? Okay, well, um, for people that do know me and, and follow me, um, Wendy Wilson, you'll know that my, my main goal is to run the London Marathon. Um, I'll be running for Diabetes UK. I'm diabetic myself. Um, so yeah, some of the training in, in that so far has been a bit of, a bit of a struggle sometimes, trying to work out my, my food and my, my, my fluids and that. But um, yeah, that was one of the main reasons I, I joined Five Star Active and got speaking to, to Fiona. Um, hopefully when the, the festival's finished um, we can get together and um, get a wee plan sorted out for me and um, she can help coach me um, cross the line at London 2019. Absolutely. Um, right, I know that a lot of people, they'll be wondering, you know, three weeks to go, what's the, what's the weather going to be like? What's the weather going to be like? Fiona, <laughs> I'm a weatherman, not a bastard in clear wine. <laughs> Listen, Wendy, thanks very much. Thanks, All the best yeah, and we'll you. see you in three weeks' time, okay? okay? Thank, thank you. you.